All right, I'm back with stage 20. Sorry to miss a couple there, but uh, we had some technical difficulties. You know, technology is a wonderful thing until it doesn't work. And I had some not working. And for all I know, this one's not going to work either. So we are on the last true competitive day of the tour. And even that has been shortened to be just uh, 38 miles. Basically, you'll climb up one mountain. Yesterday was quite a wild day with a neutralization of the stage due to landslides and hail and all kinds of wild things. Riders having to give up their day, the yellow jersey changing hands, which was sad. It was looking like might finally have a French winner of the tour. So it has switched over to what will be almost definitely the first Colombian winner of the tour. And um, also the youngest man in the tour is now leading the race. So at this point, he holds both the white and yellow jerseys. And um, there is a possibility, depending on how he goes, because the polka dot jersey has been dropped from the lead group that he could actually win three of the four jerseys of the tour, um, which to my knowledge has not been done since Eddie Mertz back in the 70s. So, um, although Eddie never wore the white jersey, but he managed to win the climbing jersey, the leader's jersey, and the sprint jersey, which is potentially even more insane because to win particularly this tour, climbing was absolutely essential. So pulling off the polka dot jersey as well is a little less than, a little less surprising, only a little. And to be 22 years old and holding off the heads of state, including the defending champion who's on your own team, it's pretty impressive. What's also impressive is Team Ineos is the same team that was Team Sky up until this year. And uh, I think the last time a member of Sky slash Ineos did not win the tour was 2014. And their leader then, Chris Froome, crashed out early on. And this tour went to Nibali. By the way, that's the tour that I happen to paint and crowdfund a book. It's called Book to Tour, Art of the um, 101st Tour de France. That is available on my website at theartofgregleach.com. Uh, Just look for the cycling books um, gallery because there's actually a second book that I did when the World Championships we're here in Richmond, Virginia. So this is the group off the front, with the exception of, coincidentally, Nibali, who is up the road still. Um, they are kind of sensing that the peloton was slowing, or at least doesn't have any real reason to chase, um, because they are in an in battle amongst themselves. So they thought they may go ahead and go on their own, see if they can get the stage. So the rider on the front is Simon Yates, whose twin brother was the designated team leader, Adam Yates, and just hasn't quite had the tour. Simon's already won two stages, both mountaintop stages. So he's a serious possibility of taking taking the stage. So we're going to call this one a join me. Tomorrow is the last day of the tour. So that's why I say this is the last day of true aggression sort of a tradition not to attack the jersey 
on the final day of the tour, it would be interesting to see if, just given the circumstances of the tour, would that tradition change a little bit? Um, I would say there would have been a higher chance of that had the erstwhile leader of the tour Julian Alaphilippe, if he had held on to the jersey or had held on to this group and was still in striking distance, I think there might be an outside chance that they would continue to race tomorrow. Unlikely. But since it is a tradition of a French tour, and if it could mean that a French rider would take over, lead, grab the lead. I think <laughs> his attack may be forgiven. Maybe not in the peloton, but certainly by the French public. But now that he's dropped way back, he's really cracked a big time. He did his best, but he has been laying it all out there for days. This may also make the sting of how he lost his jersey yesterday a little less severe since he's not able to hang on today. So now you also have the possibility Roman Bardet, another French rider, may be in position of losing his polka dot jersey, which was his target for the tour this year, which would just really be insult to injury for the tour, for the French and their tour. Right now, this rider right here is Warren Barguil, and he is the um, French national champion, so I guess it's on him to ride for France right now. Now there's the German flag that's flying within eyesight of these guys. But this is truly an international sport with international fans. In fact, this is Ilnor Zakharin he rides for Katusha, and to be honest, I can't remember if what na what nationality the team is. But Igor is Russian. Then we have the Brit Simon Yates. This over here with the M on his chest is Mark Soler, who. If I'm not mistaken, is Spanish. He's either Spanish or Colombian. He's cer certainly Spanish speaking. And then I've already said the French national champion right there. So that's f four nationalities just in this group. So again, as I have all, every time before, working through the colors warm to cool, light to dark. And um, yeah, so Frequently, you'll see I like to grab one of the cyclists as they're looking back behind them. I think it gives another level of interest to the image. So again, even though I'm working from real source material painted in real time or close to real time, you still have to find an image that is striking that isn't 
help tell the story, but it also is visually dynamic as well. After all, this is a visual medium that you're working with. So now I want to lay in a little bit of the mountainside in the background. So this is the last day in the Alps. We're in the high mountains, in fact, today when they get to the top of Val Torren, it will be the highest point reached in the tour this year. And the reason today's stage was shortened, I don't think I said it was, it was horrible weather. We did, I know I said I can't, they canceled the rest of the stage, but that was because of severe hail and rocks, mud, mudslides. And those mudslides blocked the only road over the passes that they had intended to use. So it was going to be three mountains today, but instead it has to be just this one. At the start of the day, they raced down the divided highway, which must have really compounded traffic, since, as I said, the only other road was covered by a rock slide. So now I'm going to build that black that I always build. So all of this artwork can be seen, the entire stage from today, and in fact the entire Tour de France can be seen. If you go there, you'll sort of be in reverse order, but at theartofcycling.blogspot.com. All of the artwork is available for sale. If you go to the blog and then click through each painting that you like, it'll take you to the website, which is gregleach.com, and there you can click on the shopping cart at the painting you like and make it yours. International shipping is available. Oh, I did notice yesterday that I somebody actually was quite excited, commented that they were my 100th subscriber. So theoretically, that means I can now title this um, YouTube channel. Should I be able to, it'll be The Art of Cycling. The caveat there being one, that that's available, and two, that the magic number of 100 is the actual number. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed. I hope you will continue to watch. Realize that I missed poor Zachary's arm right here. So let me go back, clean the brush off. Build a little flesh stone for his arm. And then I also didn't do the maroon shorts and the maroon K on his arm. Let's get those logged in, painted in, <laughs> logged in. All right. So we're just left to do the road surface. That's what I usually do all this when it seems a little warm in tone. So, of course, a lot of these roads in the high mountains, and we have had some stages actually raced on gravel roads, or at least the end of it. In fact, when Julian Alaphilippe lost his jersey the first time, but he did manage to get it back. That was on a stretch of gravel road. So there you are, there's today's. Please give a comment, ask a question. Whoops, I see I missed a little corner. It was hiding under the napkin there. But please ask questions in the comments, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and come back and look for the Paintings on the race into Paris tomorrow.